Hey everybody, it's Andy, and I just want to have a few minutes to talk about Dungeons & Dragons Daggerdell. Um, I just picked the game up today. I didn't know it was coming out for PC. The last time I went to their website, it only mentioned Xbox and PlayStation 3, so lo and behold, when I was walking through a store today, there it was, and I grabbed a copy. It was only $14.95. And I gotta say, it is a very fun game for being 1495. Uh, what it is is it's an adventure game set in the Dungeons and Dragons realm, and uh, it's a hack and slash RPG game. Very simple uh, key mappings: uh, left, right, uh, mouse buttons to fight, middle button to pick up items, and holding down shift changes your attack to be like a, uh, uh, a powerful attack. And of course, it adds more and more depth as you play along the game. Um, it, the graphics are great. It runs on the Unreal Engine, and it looks gorgeous and takes nothing, I mean, as far as a system to run it. I ran it on a, on a crappier computer at maximum settings, and it played just fine. Uh, that's what I like about the Unreal Engine. Um, the game installs to Steam, so if you don't like Steam, you better stay away right away. Uh, it is one to three players cooperatively, uh, but there's four classes, so that part seems kind of weird, but hey... I'll take what you can get. Uh, it's also solo play, and your solo character carries over to multiplayer. Now some of the bad things I don't like. Um, there's about four things I don't like with the game. Number one on this start screen here, uh, it says push a key. You can push every key but the left mouse button, the one you would logically push. So that's just kind of weird. That's just uh, something to look past. And the resolutions. The resolutions are all weird. They don't have any normal resolutions, and I don't know why. Uh, there's no jumping in the game. Which, I mean, that's that's fine. The maps are laid out in a way, but uh, it just feels better, I guess, if you can hop around like an idiot. Uh, and when you go to grab items, if you slay an entire field of goblins, you have to actually go around and pick up the treasure. They don't just, like, uh, rubbing up against them doesn't seem to collect it. You have to actually run over it. So then, when you get done with an area, and there's like a little, uh, you know, a cinematic, or somebody wants to tell you something, it moves you away from that, and you have to run back to it. So it just seems kind of uh, ho-hum, but I can look past that, because the game is a lot of fun to play. There's four classes, uh, your classic uh, ranged elf, uh, uh, warrior guy, um, there is a, a like halfling that's a sorcerer, and then, of course, you have, uh, I can't think of their, you know, you know not gnomes, uh, but dwarves, that's what they are. They're little dwarf people. Basically, kind of like Lord of the Rings uh, is what it puts me in mind of. I don't know anything about the Dungeons & Dragons realm. I've played a few of the games, and I like a few of them. Uh, and they are a lot of fun. And so if you like hack and slash RPGs, and if you like cooperative RPGs, especially co-op is awesome this day and age, then this one is definitely one to pick up. It does feel like it's going to be a DLC milking cow, so be forewarned. If you like the game a lot, be prepared to pay more than the $14.95 to get your foot in the door, because as they roll out new and new campaigns, you're going to want them. It is a lot of fun, though. The first uh, half hour I've gotten to play of it, I've, I've gotten hooked on it. It's just fun. It's fluid. Uh, the game just, just rolls. It just keeps you wanting to, yeah, I'll just go one more area further. Then after you beat that area, ah, what's well, one more area? And the next thing you know, uh, you're like a half hour into the game, and it only seems like a few minutes. All right, I hope this quick review has helped you out with your buying. If not, wait on a demo. I'm sure one will come out, or one of your buddies will get it. Or, heck, for $14.95, it's, it's good. I mean, heck, Game Pro says the way Dungeons & Dragons was always meant to be played, and that's on the box. All right, everybody, this is Andy. Uh, if you ever want to play with me on uh, this game and you see me online, my... Oh, yes, it runs GameSpy. That is kind of a sucky thing, too. But my name is Andy VGR on there, so if you ever want to play with me on there, um, then go ahead and drop me a line, and we'll do that sometime. Or uh, just send me a personal message here if you want my Steam account, and we can hook it up that way as well. And uh, for any more news, reviews, or info, be sure to check out andyvgr.com. All right, everybody. Good gaming, everybody. In the heart of Daggerdale, deep within the ancient dwarven mines of Tethyamar, a great tower has been constructed. Its sinister existence has remained a secret until now. Its creator is an agent of evil known as... Resless. In the name of Bane, Dagdale will be mine.
Do not be alarmed. I am Lauren Arya. Sadly, we've no time for long explanations. Daggerdale is under threat. Heroes, you have been summoned here to defeat Resless, a powerful Zentarum and loyal servant of Bane, the Lord of Darkness. Resless is amassing an army to conquer Daggerdale. To this aim, he has constructed the Tower of the Void at the heart of this mine. Find the tower entrance. Scale its height and face its perils until you find Resless himself. My journey must end here, for my ties to the Dark Zentarum would place you in further danger. Please forgive me for forcing the hand of fate. The destiny of your homeland rests upon your courage and determination. <laughs>